Let Carbon 4 Brewery tell you how they teamed up with Multi Conveyor to double their functionality. The Carbon 4's objective was to add a new depalletizer and new can filler sealer into the existing layout without having to buy a bigger building. They had to move empty cans and bottles into single file from a depalletizer to a rinser, from the rinser to either the bottle or can filler, and finally on to the labeler and hand pack station. Here's Ryan Koga, brewmaster and co-owner, with more. Our, our biggest conveyor piece that was uh, going to be really hard to figure out because of not knowing exactly where this is going to live, not knowing if we had measured things precisely with our filler, but it's now it's multi conveyor and with George's help, we were able to lay it out well, to uh, prepare for unforeseen boo-boos in my measurement, which ended up happening, and we had instant workarounds that we'd already designed into the process, but this now takes it all the way down the line and then side transfers into our ball filler. A couple of things I really appreciated during the design and fabrication process and also the installation process was, you know, whenever I had a small issue, like knowing that a VFD couldn't be mounted down low, I would say, hey, I'm really kind of hoping for something that might be a little different. I never got any hesitation. All I ever got was, hey, can you just even do a little tiny hand sketch and send it to us to get an idea of what you want? We'll make it happen. And that happened more than once. Uh, even on such a small line, there was a lot of detail when you're integrating into old equipment. No hesitation, great execution. There wasn't pushback, there wasn't hesitation. There was only solution, solution, solution. Here's one great thing, you know, just thinking about how multi-conveyor addressed our challenges or things that we saw when things, you know, rubber meets the road. And when we found the way that the dead plate was, was integrating with our exact, our line, we needed a little bit different dimensions. And of course, you don't know that until you're trying to actually install it and do something with it. So I made one comment in a text message you know, just saying like, hey, I don't, I'm not sure if it's right. I'm not sure if we can make a little bit of difference. I thought maybe, you know, we could slow walk through how to fix it over the next week or two. Every team member at multi conveyor took it as a personal challenge. And I was really blown away by that because that's how usually I react. Everyone was relentless until we have the correct, the correct transfer plate. It just was a small detail, but we have multiple calls per day, multiple emails. I didn't have to push on anything. Everybody wanted to solve the problem as quickly as possible. And we made our change, and within two, three days, I had a new a new piece of equipment on site. And here I am, I just got it yesterday. I gotta install it now before our next run. And uh, that means a lot to me. Multiple side transfers were installed from the rinser to the single filer, again from the side transfer onto the existing filler Cans were also side transferred from the rinser and side transferred off onto the new bottle in feed conveyor. The solution that we came up with for how this space lives, since it's both bottles and cans at the same time, is we developed this uh, this mobile bridge. So when it's bottling day, the mobile bridge lives back here. With no problems up front. On canning day, this thing rolls out connects to the end of our canner and integrates over to our uh, packaging line for, uh, for labeling and packaging. So We diverted by side transfer cans onto a canning machine and mobile bridge to reintroduce cans to the pack off line. Empty cans are single filed and side transfer to feed into a rinser. Then move on to this new portable transport conveyor section. Full cans then discharge at 90 degree transfer onto this mobile bridge that reintroduces them to the main flow upstream of the labeler. I think one of the greatest things was when I was trying to explain some of these things and it's hard to do it by email and text and phone and he said, you know what, let's just get on your computer and we sat there for probably an hour, hour and a half, two hours on the phone as he overlaid a sketch that I had made that was pretty much to scale at that point in time, then he was overlaying the plans of the conveyance that we were discussing, and it helped me understand what should really happen in real time. And I think we accomplished 
more in that 90 minutes than I had accomplished in months on my own and uh, and you know with other folks too it helped me understand stuff but it was just incredible to kind of hit the fast forward button and uh, and really get a better understanding of, of our project of our space uh, the way things should live and then um, you know one big thing that we changed was the orientation of our future canner that we were trying to integrate into our system and uh, you know once George came down on site and walked the site with us, um, he even gave me a couple pointers as we were fabricating small details like doing side transfers or where something would want to live versus like you know you know little tiny things that you just don't think of on your own when you're when you're just ignorant of those type of things and just you know putting in the expertise in such a way that was very digestible. It influenced the way that we completed things. And uh, long story short, we added more equipment. Uh, in the same space, at, uh, you know, doubled our functionality, and and we have more walking space, more usable, functional space in the same square footage, and uh, we just wouldn't have gotten there uh, uh, without Multi Conveyor and George and everyone that helped us in the end. Of uh, other colleagues that are going through projects, and I've told them more than once. Uh, where they need to go for their uh, needs. It's gonna be multi-conveyor and, and for us, uh, as far as I'm concerned, as we grow, we're gonna be going back to multi-conveyor every time. Need conveyors for your brewery? Visit our beer conveyor page at www.multi-conveyor.com. Then call us at 1-800-236-7960. We also extend a special thank you to Carbon 4 Brewing's Ryan Koga, for his conveyor testimonial and valuable time. Thanks, Ryan. Multi Conveyor is a proud supplier member of the Craft Brewers Association.